So if I go to my next slide quickly, it's just a reiteration of what I've said. Okay, the Portuguese have been involved in Angola from the 1480s, so a long, long period of colonialism. Okay, um, we had a war of independence, so the three, the three liberation movements were fighting Portugal from 1961 till 1974. And then in 1975, and this is where our civil war starts, in 1975, the Alvo Accords basically stipulated that Portugal has to be removed from Angola, and the three um, political parties which were fighting against the Portuguese has to have what they call a transitional government. In other words, they are going to rule Portugal together, which is a recipe for disaster. You never want three political parties um, to rule a country because they fight in between each other. So you've got three political parties that are, are going to run Angola transitionally until an election date, which was set for the 11th of the 11th. But that didn't happen. Before the election date actually took place, um, the, the, the um, political parties started fighting, okay, and that is the civil war. And when those political parties start fighting, then obviously America is going to back one and Russia is going to back another. Then you've also got South Africa thrown in the mix because South Africa has got that border, okay, with German Southwest Africa. And you're going to have um, Cuba in the mix as well because Cuba is a friend of Russia and Cuba is going to send soldiers over there. Okay, so you've got all these, these other countries getting involved in a civil war with, within Angola to try and stop the spread of communism or to try and stop the spread of capitalism. So you not only have a civil war, you also have international um, countries getting involved as well, okay, because it's in the middle of Cold War, like I said to you, okay, and that's the crux of Angola. Okay, so I quickly just want to go through to the three political parties. Remember, the three political parties were the parties that were fighting against the Portuguese. When the Portuguese gave um, Angola independence, these three political parties were supposed to get together and rule the country together until an election date. Okay, that election date was never going to happen because, like I said to you, it's very problematic for three um, parties to rule a country together. Very problematic. They each have different ethoses. They have different leaders. These leaders obviously want to want to rule the country themselves, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that is when the civil war breaks out. Okay. So just very quickly, I want to go back to my slides to show you the three political parties and what they believe in. You'll see there the three political parties. We have the MPLA. Okay, um, known as the Popular Movement for the Liberation of Angola. Um, the countries that su support them is the Soviet Union. So in other words, America is going to be against the MPLA. Because obviously if Russia is for the MPLA, then America is going to be against them. Okay, at the same time, like I said to you, the Soviet Union also has the Cubans on their side. Okay, so in other words, you're going to have the MPL, MPLA, which is backed by um, the Soviet Union and Cuba. Then you have a smaller party, okay, um, the FNLA, um, run by Holden Roberta. And Holden Roberta actually has close ties to Congo, which is above Angola. Okay, and he's going to use the Congo to help him fight because he stayed there while he was in exile. Um, then the countries that back the FNLA is the America and South Africa. But this little party is going to, um, to, to actually break up later on and going to form part of UNITA. So you actually only have, in the end, you actually only have the MPLA versus UNITA. Okay? Now that in itself is problematic because obviously you have a civil war in the country between two parties. And obviously your citizens, your economy, trade, everything is going to have an impact because of a civil war. But guys, at the same time, you have the Soviet Union and America and China and Cuba and South Africa backing these parties. Now that is going to be a problem. Because okay? you've got all these different interests trying to fight or, or, or are fighting in Angola. Okay? Um, let me just quickly... Right, so like I said to you, um, 
that the, these are the three tribes and the three, the three liberation movements. You've got the MPLA. Now, the MPLA um, is that blue spot over there. Um, the capital is Luanda. Uh, it's largely made up of the um, Banda tribe, okay? And it's made up of an industrialized area. It's also made up of um, more intellectuals. They also have an armed wing, okay? So they have the Angolan army, on their side, and that Angolan army is the army that's going to be, be fighting with the Cubans against the South Africans. Do you remember I said to you, if you look at that map, I see there's a question here about South Africa. South Africa was had German Southwest Africa just underneath it. It was a, prot a protectorate. So in other words, you had German Southwest Africa and, uh, and uh, South Africa fighting, or South Africa fighting on that border on German Southwest Africa because they didn't want German Southwest Africa to become independent. Okay? So they've, they've literally moved up through Namibia and they are fighting in Angola on that border. At the same time, there's something called a Hydra... Um, elect electricity plant that is a South African plant and um, the South Africans are going to want to try and protect that. So that is why South Africa is there. Also remember, because South Africa is trying to stop the spread of communism because they're fighting the MPLA, okay, they're fighting the MPLA, um, which is Russian, um, America is obviously going to back the South Africans. Okay. Then if we go back to our slide, you've got the FNLA, they are uh, mostly um, the Bakong Bakonga tribe. Oh, sorry. They are mostly the Bakonga tribe, and they are in the north. And they are going to use Congo to help them. Okay, they are going to use Congo to help them. As I said to you, that leader actually went to Congo um, for help when he was in exile. So you can see Congo is also going to be involved in this fight. And then you've got Unita, which is made up of the of Mbundu people, and they're in the Central Highlands, that green area over there, and they are going to get help from Zambia. Now, what's going to happen is America is going to give Zambia weapons and um, food and all types of things, and that's going to go to UNITA to help them. Okay, so just a, a recap quickly. You've got three political parties involved here yeah, that fought against um, Portugal. So you've got three political parties. You've got the MPLA, okay, and they are supported by the Russians, okay, and the Cubans. Okay, so that's political party one. Then you've got the um, FNLA, okay. They are supported by the Americans and South Africa. Okay, and then you've got a UNITA, okay, which are also supported by the Americans and South Africans, okay. So what happened is, in 1975, these three parties successfully um, defeated Portugal, And they were supposed to run the country together. Okay, they were supposed to run the country together. But unfortunately, this didn't work out. Okay, okay and um, an election date was set for the 11th of the 11th, which is obviously the 11th of November. But that never happened. So immediately you have... The MPL versus the FNLA versus UNITA. So a civil war breaks out here, okay, in 1975. But it's not just them fighting. You've got these guys in the mix as well, okay? And that's the problem with Angola. That is why Angola is a communist, uh, Cold War fight, because they are communistic. They are capitalistic, okay? And then they are capitalistic, um, later, uh, the FNLA will fall away. They will no longer um, be, be around. So you literally later have the MPLA versus UNITA. Okay? So that is what's going on 
in Angola. This is why it's Cold War, because you not only have a civil war within the political parties, you also have these guys as well, because remember, it's in the middle of Cold War. Okay, so that is our case study. And the